Good Saturday morning. It's Patrick Delkey Shaver. It's um, Saturday, April the 8th today. Tomorrow is Easter Sunday. Um, I hope this finds you all well and good. I wanted to share another shave with you this weekend or this Saturday. I said in the last video it would be Easter when I did it, but I don't know what I was thinking. Evidently, I wasn't. Um, but today I want to, uh, I'm going to do a, uh, a vintage Colgate shave and I've got this particular puck in a coffee cup I stole from my wife. Um, but uh, I don't guess she cares. She knows I took it. So, uh, But uh, that's the soap for today. <coughs> the, <coughs> pardon? The uh, razor we're using is going to be a... Um, I bought this set online on eBay a year ago maybe longer i don't know uh I, I have so much stuff that i can't remember when i got what but i know this was on uh, ebay but it's uh it's an ever ready it's a 19 um 24 uh shovel head and it's in gold and this thing went really really cheap um <clears throat> like six bucks plus shipping or something like that which is looks like it, it'd been used once or twice maybe there's still blades in the blade bank, uh, original ones. And there's some, you know, where it's been rubbed in the case and some of the gold's a little bit wore off, but <clears throat> it's in really nice shape. I really like it. Uh, I thought I had a couple more. And as I was looking through my razors, I found like six razors I forgot I had. Um, I knew I had this one. This is a, uh, I guess a travel model. It's a little bitty, uh, the shorter handle shorter chain link handle like an inch shorter probably than this gold one and I thought I had a couple more and I guess maybe I don't but I found um, three or four shicks that I forgot I had and um, another damascene I forgot I had in the, in the case and uh, a 1912 travel that I forgot that I had it's kind of crazy but um, as you can see this if you don't know and if you do ignore this part but <clears throat> of course here's the here's the foil this is the the front of the the razor that goes against your your skin and this one flips forward and uh the blade sits in there like this behind the blade stops center them up a little bit and just like that Clip it back in place. Um, these can be aggressive for a lot of folks. <clears throat> I've heard a lot of people say they don't particularly like them. I like them. It's one of my favorite uh, single edge razors. Um, but anyway, that being said, um, yeah, if you decide to get one, just be careful with it. Uh, uh, you know, I, not not that you're going to do something silly, but don't just bear down with it because it'll it'll bite you. And you won't like it after that for sure. That's what I, I don't. I don't like people doing that using a, an a, a aggressive razor for the first time and then using too much pressure and then you just don't like it from now on. Um, it kind of ruins things. But and this is a uh, the brush we're using is a looks like a Burma shave uh, a newer Burma shave brush with a um, uh, yeah plus off not a. Uh, <clears throat> synthetic knot turn and it's got oaky shaver on it and six and this is from uh my buddy jack bridges up in missouri he knows i'm a cardinals fan he's a cardinals fan and number six was one of the best players ever one of my favorite players for the cardinals uh stan musial uh before i forget and for the aftershave we'll be using chateau Le. chateau looks however you however you say it i, I don't know but la petite prairie is what it's called and the uh i had to write the scent notes down because they're more complex than i thought but it's uh vetiver citrus geranium carnation pineapple rhubarb rosemary and szechuan pepper i get the rhubarb the geranium and the carnation mostly a little bit of the vetiver but um it's really nice it's um a little on the frou-frou end if, if you know what i mean it's not exactly something you would think I would use but I, I borrowed uh, a, uh, some from 
HD Shades one time, he was <clears throat> loaning me a few things, and this is one of the things, that was one of the things he loaned me, and I found it for sale later and bought it, because I really, really liked it. Alrighty. Like I said, I hope y'all have been doing good this week. We're having a good Saturday so far. My wife's out looking for strawberries. She's not been able to find any that were worth buying the last five stores she went to. So who knows where she's going to have to go to get them. Don't know. Alright. So... Um, this old, uh, I can't remember which, how old this puck is. I don't know if it's the older one or the, the, the newer, uh, iteration, if you will. Got a, uh, I was off yesterday. I did shave, so this is about a day's growth. Not even more than that. But I think this, I've got three different eras maybe of the Colgate. I think maybe this one is the one that's in this cup. I'm not sure, but I also have this one, which was <clears throat> probably from the 50s. And then I've got a couple of these. Probably in the 60s uh, from some time. And then I've also got a um, mentholated puck, which I've never seen another one, so when I saw it, I bought it. Anyways, I'll shut up. Uh, here we go with the 1924 shovel head. It's been a while since I've used one of these uh, shovel heads. I used to use them at least once a week. It seems like this is a, a pretty efficient razor also. It gives you a good shave. Although it is a, like I said, it can be a little bit aggressive. To some folks, I do my best to uh, watch my pressure when I'm using one. The same way with the uh, 1914s are a little bit that way. And <clears throat> which is also called the baby lather catcher. And then the, uh, Micromatic original, the open cone can be that way for sure. 
when I first started shaving, I used one with a new blade and it was not a smooth shave. I went ahead and shaved out with the, that blade and that open comb for my chromatic. But it didn't ruin me of it, but there for a long time I wouldn't use a new blade in one. <clears throat> so y'all have Easter plans tomorrow. We've had we got church of course in the morning and then we're having everybody here for lunch around 1 30. Got a turkey and a ham. On. We're going in the morning about four o'clock, I guess. <clears throat> Okay, here we go against the grain. Here we I was off a good Friday yesterday, like I said. <clears throat> My son had some things to do yesterday early afternoon, and then he was off. So I trapped him in his room and made him, or he was in his room, and I, there was no escape for him. So I went in and uh, we burned brush all afternoon. He's got a bunch of friends over Tahlequah, 30, 30 miles or so from here in <clears throat> Northeastern State University. That's where they're at. And it wasn't long after we got done with the brush, he took off. So. <laughs> took him a little giddy ditty bag so I knew he wasn't <clears throat> coming back just to let me know that whatever I had planned for him to do today he wasn't going to be up for it I don't know about y'all, but I don't really 
doesn't matter to me what fibers in your in my knot. I can make about any of them work. Of course, bore to me is the hardest. You know, if it's not broken in, it's hard to lather with. A lot of people won't use synthetic. A lot of people won't use natural. Until you figure your knot out, you don't know how much water it retains, and you think you got enough water out of it, and then you got a bowl of soup for shaving with, and that's no good. <clears throat> a lot of people it turns them, maybe turns them off for that reason. They, you know, don't want to use a natural hair, or well, they don't want, they don't think it's ethical or. I mean, I don't know. I just haven't used the synthetic in a while. And thought for whatever reason I'd mention that, I don't know. I got myself up here a minute ago. <clears throat> okay. Wipe this off a little bit. Got to go and sharpen some more blades. <clears throat> here in a little bit and get everything mowed up and weed eaten and all that good stuff for company tomorrow all right have a good old shave with that 1924 Ooh, up with you prairie <clears throat> Thank you.
very, very floral. Some burn. A little bit of menthol. Pretty nice. I, I've always liked this ever since I used it the first time. When I found a guy selling some on a BST, I bought this one for, I don't know how much. Not very much, I didn't think. <clears throat> Anyways, let me recap and get off here and let y'all go. Um, today we use the uh, Gold 1924, ever ready. Uh, the Oki Shaver Synthetic Knot Brush from Jack Bridges. Thank you, buddy. Uh, some vintage Colgate in the stolen Fiesta mug. In uh, Chateau Lou, Chateau Lux, however you want to say it, La Petite Prairie. Um, I guess that's going to do it. I do appreciate y'all watching and sharing your time with me. Um, be careful out there. Stay safe. Um, celebrate tomorrow and uh, be thankful we serve a risen Lord. Uh, have a good week. Lord willing, we'll see y'all next time.